Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I'm here to share with you guys another quick Christmas card that I made. This one was for my niece. And just like the one that I shared previously, this one I did really quick following a sketch from MFT Stamps Sketch Challenge. And this is the stamp set I used. It's an Art Impressions Santa Paws stamp set. I love this set. I love the dogs, obviously, and all of the Santa or Christmassy themed images for these dogs. And I decided to use the little candle lantern that was part of the group of dogs singing. I just masked it off and doodled, doodled the little handle at the top because I wanted this to be a little accent piece for the uh, golden retriever, I think, that's uh, got the Santa costume on. And I'm using some Copic markers to color up the golden. Um, I actually think that the paws, the front paws, that might have been faux fur at the cuffs, but I thought it was the dog when I was coloring this up. So you see me coloring up the cuff area of the jacket that might have been uh, the faux fur trim. But anyway, I think it looks fine. And it actually reminds me a little bit more of my niece's dog, who's a miniature poodle, an apricot miniature poodle. So very similar coloring. And the little pom-poms uh, by the paws could be more like a poodle. I guess if the ears were a little more fluffy and the tail was a little more fluffy, this could have been a poodle rather than a golden. But Anyway, I use these YR colors to give this puppy a golden retriever or apricot coloring. And I'm just sketching or flicking the pens to give a little furry texture. And um, previously I had used the three different colors of uh, red for the candle and the candy cane. And you see here, I'm just doing some tip to tip coloring and I'm touching the lighter pen to the darker tip and then using that kind of transferred ink to color in and fill in the gap between the wire 20 and the 24. I'm using some pale warm grays for the fur trim of the Santa costume. Um, and I'm just using the W1 for the darker areas behind the neck at where the collar joins together. The underside of the uh, bottom cuff of the jacket and the underside of the little puff ball at the end of the hat. I'm using that same warm W1 for the lantern, but I decided I wanted it to be more golden and match the puppy a little better. So I'm going over that W1 with those same golden retriever colors. For the red, I love this red combo of colors, the R24, 27, and 29. And I'm using the lightest color as the base, just trying to mark in the whole base coloring. And then I'm taking the darkest R29 to mark in where the shadows would be under the fur collar, where the armpit would be, uh, where the fur, the faux fur of the trim would join the hat and um, underneath where the creases are. And then I'm going to use the mid-tone, the R27 to blend those two R24 and 29 together. So there's a seamless kind of uh, contouring. And then I'm using a white gel pen to add some furry texture to the white trim and also to lighten and brighten the faux fur trim of the hat, the pom-pom, the collar. And that's the completed image all colored up. So now I decided I'm going to add some double-sided foam adhesive to add a little dimension to the puppy and the lantern. And then I'm using a black glaze pen to add some shine and tiny bit of dimension to that nose. Off camera, I had stamped out the sentiments. Here come Santa Paws on the front. And inside, I used a scrap of patterned snowflake paper for the background and then some teal um, colored cardstock with happy holidays to the coolest person I know. And that one's from actually a different stamp set. That's Sugar P Designs uh, Eskimo Kisses. And then to add some more sparkle and shimmer and shine and kind of just more festiveness, I'm using some glitter glue to glue on seven different sized uh, iridescent colored sequins um, to add a little bit of the blue and the sparkle and the glitter glue adds uh, the sparkle the adhesive really well and I can top off the little holes of the sequins with that glitter glue as well. And that is the completed card. 
Thanks for joining me for this quick process video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day and happy holidays. Thanks for watching.